Hey everybody, what's up? Welcome to An Idiot's Guide to the Line 6 Helix. I'm your resident idiot, Jeremy Vareo, and today we're taking a break from the patch creation, and we're going to look at something simple that was not very simple for me, and that is hooking up the Helix to your amp as an effects processor. Stick around. <laughs> All right, guys, like I said, today we're going to take a look at how you basically just hook up uh, the Helix, uh, whether it's a rack, floor, or whatever, to your um, to your amp of choice. Um, quick rundown of why I'm even doing this, and I know it sounds super simple. Oh, you just hook up the sender return and you go. You know what? It wasn't that simple, or well, at least not for me. Um, I have four amps in the studio that I run into an amp switcher made by Bruce Ignator, the Ignator SS4 amp switcher. I then, I was like, what was that meth mouth? Uh, I then uh, run the amp switcher into a two notes torpedo studio and I have four different setups for cabs depending on which amp I'm using. From there, I go uh, also out of the switcher uh, via MIDI to the Helix rack and I've got an effects chain that I had built for each amp. And I'm just using the four send and returns on the back of the Helix rack to go to the effects loop of each of these amps. I missed it. Um, everything was switching fine. Everything like from, the, from a MIDI standpoint was perfect. I press button one on the Hydra, it would select the KSR, it would change the preset for the cabs I wanted in the two notes, and it would even change the, uh, the preset that I made on Helix Rack. The problem was no effects were coming through. So I jumped over to the, uh, the official uh, Helix Facebook group uh, run by Chad uh, Boston and Chris Saraga, um, and I posed the question out there, and big thanks to Phil Miller, and big thanks to Jamie Trevino, a very small thanks to Brian Mason. His suggestion was magic. It was it didn't work. Anyway, uh, Jamie and Phil got me sorted, and so now I'm gonna show you guys how to set that up and uh, on your amps because it's not quite as simple as um, just plugging it in. So let's build a, uh, a new patch on the Helix. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and build a patch out, and um, we're doing this on the uh, BE100. I've got my little, my new Les, uh, Les Paul, and this is just the BE100. Uh, on its own, effects loop is turned off. Because right now, with it off, you have signal. Turn the effects loop on, no signal. So what you gotta do is, this was what Phil Miller suggested, was go to your send and return blocks. Oh, I should explain, sorry. On the B100, doing the send from the amp to return two on the Helix rack. And I'm, doing, I'm using return two because this is the second amp in my setup. Um, if it was my first amp, I would do return or send one. So anyway, send from the amp to return two of the helix. Send two from the helix to the return of the amp. So you've got your send and your send. Now, what Phil suggested was picking a send return block and oddly enough, starting with the return block. You go with return two because that's where we are. Like I said in my signal ch or my chain, in my recording setup, do another block send and return, and you're gonna do send two. So effectively, I should now have um, signal, at least going to the amp. Now, at least we know it's working. We can stick effects anywhere between these two blocks that we want, and we'll be fine, All right? So just for the heck of it, stick a uh, reverb. And we'll do that guy. I don't, I don't even care what it sounds like, but just proof of concept. We have reverb. So that works. Now, um, you'll notice it's a bit quieter. Let me... Oh, stupid. It's a bit quieter. With the effects loop on. 
So you can level that out in the block um, or in your output. But what Jamie Trevino suggested, and I ended up using, and I kind of prefer to clear all these blocks, is, I said, clear all blocks. Yes. Is setting the input and output up, like in place of the blocks. So I've got the input on return two, and I've got the output on send one and two. And effectively does the same thing. That's effects loop off. Effects loop on, it'll still be quieter. Oh, maybe not. But now, we can add effects. So it doesn't really matter what they are. Um, I'll probably put a hard gate here. Where are you? Can't see. Oh, there you are. Here, we'll do a chorus. Uh, and again, I'm not dialing these tones in. I'm just proving that it works. Always three and four. Mix around there. We'll put a delay on. Ha, 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 ha. Simple delay. About that. Mix about there. And what the hell, we'll do a reverb. And let's do a room like that. So you can see we have that reverb. Probably add a tune. Now throw a little delay on. Hit it with a little chorus. Get it with the uh, Friedman Bucks and Boots. it's working. Now, the one thing that I did say was that um, it was a little quieter and uh, so you have this, my, my tripod's in the way. I found that if I go up about, what the hell did that say? It was about 3 dB close enough to, uh, to get it level with the uh, effects loop turned off. <laughs> So there you have it. You now have your effects running to your amp and uh, you know, it's really a piece of cake. So um, I don't know why uh, that was so difficult for me, but it was. All right guys, there you had it. Fumbled through it a little bit because you know, I just found, figured out how to do this today thanks to the help uh, from the guys over at the Facebook group. And I uh, just wanted to kind of put this out here because I can't imagine there's nobody else struggling with this, with this situation or getting frustrated. So, um, Thanks to Phil Miller and Jamie Trevino for getting me sorted. Quick recap, send from the amp to a return on the back of the Helix. Pick a number and stick with it, right? One through four, we use number two, and because this is the second amp in my chain, and I'm gonna do this for all four of my amps. So send from the amp to return two on the Helix. Send two from the Helix to the return on my amp. A signal chain on the input, set it to return two because I don't know why, but you just do. Um, put your effects in, and then on the output of your signal chain, 
send one two it's in a pair i don't know why it's it's together like that the sends but they are um and there you have it you, you made your your effects kind of loop as it were and uh it works aces and then for some reason when you have it hooked up to your effects loop and it's a little bit quieter than when the effects loop is turned off or disconnected then just use that little gain slider to make up uh some of that output that you lost and that's what we did i think it was you know three four db that we had to bring it up but then it was level and it sounded fine and it worked so as always thank you guys for checking out the video hope you liked it uh if you did go ahead and hit the thumbs up button don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and uh, also hit the little bell get those notifications i got a lot more videos coming i got some cool products coming in for review and uh you know a lot more coming in the idiots guide series so uh as always thank you and uh peace